In this video, I'm going to show you the perfect takeaway for driver. When you're hitting the big stick, sometimes golfers get a little bit, I don't know, complicated or confused from that first move away from the golf ball. In this video, I'm going to show you the advantages of having a good takeaway and what that looks like. So with driver, it's a little bit different to when you're hitting irons and wedges. You want to try and create width. Ideally, as much width as you can. And what width means is, imagine this, the center of my chest here, as I start to turn and move the club away, my objective here is not to sway too much to the side. However, I want to try and keep the gap between my club head and the middle of my chest as wide as possible. That's width there, as, as far away from my chest as I possibly can. Obviously that's done with my arms and the way I've turned my torso, but if we can create that width early in the swing, it sets you up for creating creating power. Now, if I was hitting, let's say, an iron shot or a wedge shot, you'd probably see a little bit more of a takeaway where the wrist would hinge a little bit more, my arms may be a little bit closer to my body, and you can see there, the gap between my head and my chest is not as big. It's great for controlled shots. Let's be honest, we're hitting driver. We want speed and power, right? So, as I set up to driver, I've got a nice wide base, wider than my shoulders, my body's slightly tilted, I've got the ball position forward, what I'm looking to do here, as I move the club away from the ball, I want to turn my body, my hips, my shoulders. I don't want this just to be a static move of my arms because that becomes, a, becomes too disconnected. So as I start to take this club away from the golf ball, and it's really, you see this with a lot of really, really good players and certainly long drive players, and this is a great little tip, try not to have the club head too static behind the ball for too long. If you do, there's no energy in the, cl in the club, in the shot really. So you'll see a lot of golfers moving the club head, giving it a waggle, letting it bounce, even hovering it a little bit. All of those things are really good to help keep that energy in the swing. And then as you start to take the club away and the body starts to turn, notice how the hips are turning, my torso's turning, and I'm stretching as far back as I can without swaying to the side. So I'm really trying to stretch that nice big width in my takeaway. And from that point, then I can coil around that really solid base and then give it an absolute rip. Creating that width is so key. Now, if you come around this backside, I'm going to show you one more thing as well to be aware of, just the club face. In that halfway back position, what we call the takeaway, when the club is parallel to the ground, ideally, we want the club head just to be slightly in front of the heel. That is in a square position. If you can get the toe slightly in front of the heel to match a little bit more up the posture, you can see lined up more with my back, that's the perfect takeaway face. Now I'm saying that perfect because I actually don't always do that. I sometimes open it a little bit too much. However, we're looking to turn the body, create that really good width, have that club face nice and square, and that'll set you up nicely to hit a big, long tee shot. I've hit one straight down the middle. Guys, thanks for watching. That's how you get the perfect takeaway with your driver. Some little tidbits you can take away there and help you hit the tee shot better. We'll see you next time.